Kutsu Productions, uh, take, take one, part 17,000. Action. Action? Action? What if it was like a romance movie and they were like, romance! <laughs> Ready, set, fucking romance on the set, please. <laughs> Whoa, I don't know if that one works. Romance just, on the set, please. Everyone just starts. And it's like gets a little out of hand when you start directing people. And no, kind it, of, it's it's like super soft core. Everyone's just <laughs> like, I really appreciate all the things that we've accomplished in our relationship these <laughs> oh. last couple. Like real sweet, just like real sincere. sweet. Yeah, I wouldn't call it soft core. <laughs> yeah. That's like because on the cheek of romance, right there. Soft core is still, you know, that's the kind of stuff you wake up at three in the morning when you're like a kid and it's on TV and you're like, huh? You know what I miss? Hmm. Girls gone wild. Yeah, it, I don't know if it was ever that interesting. Like, I was, <laughs> yeah, Girls Gone Wild was definitely that show, but it wasn't ever actually Girls Gone Wild. It was just the commercials yeah, just for <laughs> Girls Gone Wild. <laughs> That's the worst part about yeah. this whole situation. You're like, oh man, all this censorship and yeah. black bars and like, <laughs> I, you know, <clears throat> all the when I was younger, methods. I felt like uh, somehow if I kept watching them. At a certain point, uh, you know, there'd just be like yeah. a nipple. Like between like 12.59 and 1 a.m. <laughs> yeah, if you watch it. But then the rotisserie chicken one would come on, you know, like no boobies tonight. The rotisserie chicken girls gone wild commercial? Yeah, it's oh. crazy. Yeah. F- fill they me just, in on that one. Cause... They just slap them in grease and then they just turn them around. And then there's like, wait, there's more. You could fit two greasy chickens in that. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. All at two in the morning, too. Yeah, honestly, yeah. if I was a, if I had a credit card as a child, I would have been in fucking huge <laughs> debt. It's not too hard to get a credit card as a child, luckily. So, <laughs> um, spread the message to your children <laughs> that uh, open them credit cards, son. <laughs> yeah, like get that rotisserie chicken. It is not that on. hard. You could fake your parents. <laughs> you know, I think about this age. <laughs> no, I don't just know. do it all on phones. Yeah, easy. I used to think that that rotisserie. Do you really not remember the rotisserie chicken uh, pig commercial? Is it actually a Girls Gone Wild commercial? No, it's a it's okay. an actual rotisserie chicken. That's commercial. what I was feeling. It was like an yeah. infomercial of some yeah. sort. Yeah. Do you remember it where they would like it'd be like the little prongs and then they would put a hole? <laughs> no. I thought it was the most genius thing ever. I was like, man, you could cook two small rotisserie chickens in yeah. that, like a barbarian. And then as I got older, <laughs> I realized that. Um, I don't need. I'm not gonna cook a whole fucking rotisserie chicken. Nah, you know I'm gonna go to Walmart. They already got them cooked for you. Exactly. Sure. I'm gonna pay the eight dollars. I'm gonna cook some chicken breast. Yeah. I don't need a rotisserie chicken. I don't need it to be rotated. Yeah. Not yeah. in this age. That's archaic old people stuff. Rotating your chicken. You know what's funny? The beer Ooh. you're drinking. I'm wearing a hat for. Oh look at you! Bam. It's like it's I almost planned like it. we should trade. <laughs> nope. This episode Give me brought the hat, to you. Anakin. Anakin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm the chosen one. Yeah, dude. We should get that Lazy Dog Beer Club uh, membership uh, sponsorship. That'd be, oh, that'd be that'd so be sick. Up. I would just have a Huckleberry Lazy Hazes for dog. days. Dude. If Huckleberries for Days was an option, which mm-hmm. it is if you pay every single yeah. day. Uh we can just clip this all together as like a shameless promotion for a lazy dogs. Hey, uh, that that turkey club, bomb turkey club, lazy dog, consistently fire the whole time, yeah. every time. And there's usually a dog looking at you while you eat it. Yeah, you and know. If you, and if there isn't, you just ask. You just ask. <laughs> and they'll me, bring one out. Could I have a sided dog with this? And then they're like, "Sir, we don't do that." I was like, "No, I'd like to watch a dog." They're like, "Sir, we I'd also like to don't watch do a that. dog. Watch me eat bacon." <laughs> There you go. That's like the pinnacle of sad dog. If you just have like a dog that begs or or just like. Sarah McLaughlin comes over the loudspeaker. Feed your dog. Feed your dog. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Sarah McLaughlin was. What did she do other than those commercials? Like I really can't remember what her. She's a thug ass bitch. Her name is Sarah McLaughlin, (laughs) son. In these streets, she's running wild. Do you think you're gonna out here abuse dogs? Mm -mm. I don't know, man. She might get beaten by uh, Barbara, AK (laughs) Seven (laughs) Steen. Way better uh, ad campaign. Um, Uh, Cheaper, more effective. But she's no use to. 
Colton 45. Oh. <laughs> Colton Barbecue the 45th. I don't know. Who Col- 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 45? The- Col- 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 yeah, it's a gun. I'm aware of at least uh, four to five different gun names. After this, but you can't guess, I was going to say... Uh, <laughs> there's, there's I already one, used Barba, but that'd be the perfect one to be like AR-15. There's bro. one right in front of your face. Oh, really? It's, yeah, I'm totally missing until just now. Let's hear it. Little, little Uzi Aww. Vert. <laughs> What's the Vert? What's the Vert in Little Uzi Vert? Hey, man, he's not a street skateboarder. He's a Vert skateboarder. Okay, I just wasn't sure if that's that's the only Vert. I know of. I'd actually be Vertical. surprised it. if it had anything to do. I, don't know. I wonder why he does call him Vert. Uh, I was hoping you would tell me. You're the one that's usually more in the loop with this kind of stuff. Yeah, no. You probably you probably can at least name a little Uzi Vert song. I can't. Yeah, I do love Lil Uzi Vert. Um, what's Lil Uzi Vert's ooh. best uh, best verse? What's his, what's his favorite line that you got? And what are the mm. beats per minute so I can do the beatbox? <laughs> What's my favorite little Uzi Vert? Ah, oh, fuck. I'm You're totally that little spacing. Uzi Vert? He can't even think of it. Not a good sign. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Because it's like a stupid one that I don't think anyone really likes. Yeah. Um, And even then, I like two little Uzi Vert songs. Is there like a, like a little Uzi Vert song that's pretty well known that if you said it, I might know it because of the radio and or film or television or other commercials sometimes. Mm, I do not know because you couldn't do that to me before. Wow. Yep. I don't know what that means. Like uh, before I listened to these two songs that I really like, um, I can, (laughs) you know, you can be like, hey, do you know the song, The Way Life Goes? And I'd be like, Oh yeah, I I know of that song. Like, oh the so the song is like uh uh top. Top. Yeah, by Lil Uzi Vert. <laughs> Don't play it, we're gonna get pulled. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was hoping you do your best vert impression. It looks like, like you're just top. Lil Lil Uzi goofy. Mm. isn't that that's another skateboarding feet thing a little oozy goofy oh. when i used to skateboard like which is very you know minimal in my lifetime yeah. uh i was considered a goofy skater because <laughs> you pulled a lot of pranks no nah, just this is the way i stood on yeah. the board apparently <laughs> <laughs> that's what the kids would tell me at least oh, as i would kids. fail to ever drop into a to a i almost said lead pipe maybe it's made of lead who knows it's a lead pipe uh, you're not supposed to drop in on a lead pipe. Everyone knows that in the, in the <laughs> skate game. Classic rookie mis- mistake. Such a poser. Could you ever kickflip? No, I tried my hardest. Uh, I couldn't even uh, uh, ollie. I almost called it Uzi. <laughs> uh, I couldn't cool even name. Uzi vert. <laughs> First, I dropped my top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're trying to slip it in there, huh? Uh, uh, this bud heavy goes beautifully with this flannel. I would like to say, you and your bud heavy. I need to reach out to Budweiser and be like, is is is, is this guy is labeling or is this properly, or wrong. is he like in on something that you're is dropping he... in the future? In the future, <laughs> you know, like, uh, what's going patiently on? Patiently awaiting the uh, Budweiser 2021 campaign where they unleash the fabled uh, bud heavy. <laughs> Some are comparing it to Dr. Dre's Detox album. Wow. You like that one, huh? Yeah. I'm going for it I today. I mean, that's a rep. Oh, son of a bitch. It's kind of the opposite of Detox, but I like where your head's at. Mm. You know, it's kind of wild. I saw a commercial the other day. There's actually like a reality show about the Budweiser family. And I was like, that was bitches. You mean wild? the Bush family? Is that? Is the race car driver. Kyle Bush, I think no, it is. No, I don't think it's that. Is it that? It's not the beer. Fuck. I you, think, the- you think beer moguls would be fucking <laughs> interesting to watch? Yeah. Because like at the end of the commercial, they're like, give me a beer. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, hey. I'm like 90% I sure it was you're the Budweiser there. family. No, I think it's the Bush family because I thought it was weird that. Uh, it's a beer too. Yeah, Anheuser-Busch. But it's also that it, this man's name. It's not the NASCAR drivers though. Is it not? I don't know. Oh, I'm at, I wasn't sure if like the yeah. Bush beer and the NASCAR drivers were. I don't think so. In cahoots. No. Coincidence. Yeah. Probably. Oh, NASCAR drivers. Who's that? Jeff Gordon? 
That is uh, Jeff Gordon, number he, 24. He's, he's the drive the... Uh, he's a commentator now. Is he? Which has to be the most boring sports commentary, Ooh. I feel like. That would be rough, man. That would be rough. You know what I've been... I'm pretty sure I've told you this one before. <laughs> uh, I want to go to a fucking monster truck rally. Ooh, that'd be tight. Right? Or like a Destruction Derby. I've been to one of those oh, before. Oh, I used to love the video game Destruction Derby, yeah, actually. Solid. You remember that? Yeah. Um, yeah you mean the one that uh, Twisted Metal, right? <laughs> now that's a destruction derby. <laughs> i love twisted metal too um do you do you remember anything about twisted metal yeah lots. uh you remember club kid from the first one not that thing <laughs> <laughs> it was like the uh he had like a uh smiley faces on his car and he was like a uh uh, huh. You remember what his power was or whatever? Uh, fuck, I think it was like vortexes or some bullshit. I thought that was the cop that had the vortex. Was it? Was oh, like, there's shit. like a cop and she like spins her car. Maybe everyone can yeah, do that. Yeah. It's been a long time yeah. since I played Twisted Metal, but, but I do remember Sweet Tooth and the guy on the bike. Wasn't and... that Jax, the dude with the the arms and the thing? The arms? Like he, like his, he, so he was standing in the car. He was like a person. Oh, yeah, But yeah, his yeah, hands yeah, yeah. were connected and I'm pretty sure his name was Jax. I mean, oh, unless I'm thinking of Mortal Kombat. That's what I was thinking too in my yeah. head. I was like, mm, can't validate that or yeah. like verify that because yeah. I'm not sure. Because I also think of Jack. This metal will be cool, man. Like they should. It's almost like I'm you, surprised they haven't come out with like a uh, like a very recent updated version of it. They have. I think, they, I think there was a launch title on the PS3 or PS4. Mm. I forget which one. But um, what I was gonna say, it'd be like it'd be kind of a cool movie. You know what I, it would remind me of? Remember Death Race with Jason? Statham? Yeah, but I never saw it. But I think a Mad you never Max seen, was the okay. other thing I was thinking of. Yeah, I think like, uh, so like the good version of it would be like it's Mad Max, but the bad version is that it's going to be like Death Race. Which like, oh, so Death Race isn't good? <sighs> I mean, a it's, it's a decent, yeah, <laughs> but the sequel is <laughs> absolute, not, not the same tier. Not as deadly. Yeah. Or racy. Or racy, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, it's like not too bad. Like, it's not the worst movie in the world, but it's like. Yeah. It's not the, it's I mean, the there was a stint situation. where like Jason Statham was doing every fucking movie, yeah. right? Yeah. He's I feel like yeah, that just kind of happens. I'll you know? fucking do that movie. <laughs> oh, you want me to drive and fuck people? I'll do that movie. <laughs> and he's like, you want me to drive again? <laughs> Except I'm transporting now and I get to fight people. I'll do that movie. <laughs> so where's Jason Statham? I'll do, that. I'll, I'll do that movie. He's like Australian, isn't he? I don't know. I am Jason Statham. What? Oi. Prick. You, The Rock, Sylvester Stallone, and Arnold Schwarzenegger want to fight me. And Chuck Liddell. I'll do that movie. <laughs> <laughs> you know who was fucking hyped to do that movie. You know, I think like once you reach like a certain point, like you're just making movies because you're like, oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah. I mean, if, and then you're like, if you okay. were getting offered to do movies every day, and they're like, "Yeah, we'll pay you this much to do this much," mm -hmm. and you'd be like, "Fucking sure." Hey, you say like, you, if, if it gets to the point where they start coming to you and yeah. you're not doing auditions and shit like that, then yeah. I imagine that's a good place to be as an actor or, yeah. or something. You yeah. know, sure, not everything's going to be a winner, but I think I read somewhere they'll do that movie that uh, Nicolas Cage released over a hundred straight to like video movies. Really. In the like it, the yeah. twenty the like twenty ten to twenty twenty, <laughs> damn. Oh, how why they, right? is he? Yeah, I'm just like fuck, man. How is he putting out that many movies? Yeah, but it's, I imagine it's probably like a a really small budget on something that they're like. Yeah, we like need very a very brief like, scene. Yeah, we need to like film that. this today. Yeah, get Nicholas Nicholas Green on a green on a cage. Screen, yeah, that's what I said. He's just <laughs> shooting from like a, a Starbucks on his cell phone. He's just like, yeah, put this in the movie. It's, it's doable there. to some degree at this yeah. point, right? <laughs> What's your favorite Nicolas Cage movie? I don't think I have any. And Nicolas. why is it? Oh, Spirit? Gone in 60 Seconds. Easy. Really? Yeah, easy. Because <laughs> I don't like Nicolas Cage that much. That's fair. So I'm going to... I'm going to go with the Nicolas Cage movie. I, He's I quite eccentric. Somewhere. I don't know. Like, I think my favorite one is always Kick-Ass. Oh, I forget about that movie so oh easy. Oh my god, it's phenomenal. I forget about it so easy. Is that do you like that movie? Like it was all right. Franchise? You know, oh, like really? it was just like it, I like like the comics. Mm -hmm. Um the movie was cool. Yeah, the comics go a step further that I yeah. really enjoy. Yeah. But it like at the same like it just said uh it didn't hook me like it hooked like a lot of people. Yeah. But I can see that. it was cool. 
It's cool. Yeah. And I mean, and obviously me and you are both big fans of Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, I feel exactly. like Kick-Ass and Scott Pilgrim, they're kind of in a similar area. Yeah, similar styles, I would say. They're both like quirky. Obviously, one's more cartoony. Uh, yeah. I actually watched a movie last night that I highly recommend uh, that I didn't really think was going to be very good, but I, I compared it in my head as a mix between Scott Pilgrim and Kick-Ass. And it's uh, Guns Akimbo. Oh, with uh, with Daniel, Daniel Radcliffe. Radcliffe? I've, Dude. I've seen that on that that lo- that site. That site. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that movie is worth a watch. It's just like yeah. dumb, dumb fun, but I feel like really any solid. anything post uh, Harry Potter, Daniel Radcliffe <laughs> is just fucking great. A. Yeah, that's like, what Jack like, was telling me today too. Like horns I've never seen amazing. Horns. I've never yeah. seen. Um, I feel like you would Swiss really Army like Man. Uh, I feel like you would really enjoy Swiss Army. Yeah, no, I want to now because like after I watched it, I was like, dude, Dana Radcliffe's actually like a really fucking good actor, mm-hmm. and I I can't think of anything Same other with than like Harry that. Potter and um, <laughs> the Woman in Black. Which earlier today, <laughs> the earlier today, I was like, uh, what was that movie? He was in Black Woman, <laughs> and I was yeah. just like, oh, that is not what that movie's called. Black Woman. I was like, that's a very different movie. That's like that movie Ma that came out last uh, year. <laughs> no, not Ma. Uh, they're like uh pending titles for this film uh-huh. ma black woman <laughs> get the <laughs> fuck out jerry hey, god yeah. damn it <laughs> this is why you're not allowed in meetings anymore you <laughs> dickhead he a PA? god fuck okay. but he got avatar and so he still <laughs> works here you know <laughs> he named that film oh god yeah we you have know to the- keep paying him royalties we can't fire yeah him. you know there's just one guy that was like uh <laughs> He's like, we should call. They're like, they're trying to think of the name Titanic before, the, like, it's named Titanic. And he's <laughs> well, that's like, named after a real boat. It's not a. Well, no, that's what like they made. Like they made the movie, but they were like, what are we gonna call right. the movie based on Titanic? And someone was like, mm-hmm. what if we named it Titanic? <laughs> and everyone was like. Team Scam's like, can, do we have to pay him now? Can they're like, that? for a <laughs> life. <laughs> if we use it. <laughs> Just like we, that if movie, we don't Go- use it, the film has a fifty percent chance of succeeding. Yeah. <gasps> Just like the movie Ghost Ship, that ship was actually called Ghost Ship. Is crazy. Is that is that a joke or is that based on a sometimes the, old the world may never no. know. It's a Google away. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's another good movie? Like, what do you think if they were going to name Titanic something else? What would they call it? Hey, look out! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's like such a fucking uh, predictable disaster. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Preventable disaster. I think I'm going to use that joke. No, they're like, you know, they almost named the Titanic right before uh, they named it Titanic. Hey, look out. <laughs> Just, we're going to cut that part out. <laughs> like, ironically, the real boat was actually called Iceberg. <laughs> and yeah. The iceberg was called Titanic. <laughs> Common misconception, lost in history, just like these Dems want you to believe. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> these Dems! You know, Dem- I've, Dems. I've I've had been having this thought lately that I think uh, conspiracy theories aren't fucking cool anymore. I haven't heard a good one in a while. That's for you know, damn sure. Like it's just like it's like almost too predictable. It's like there's nothing interesting about it. You know, there's not there hasn't been a good conspiracy that, but... theory in years. What about um, Epstein? You don't think Epstein was a conspiracy? No, that one's an obvious truth. You know, <laughs> it's a fucking cover up. But it's it's like and even then, it's like it's not interesting. There's it not kind that, of is just because it's like so in the public view. I think yeah. that's what makes it more interesting. And but but it doesn't. There's it had nothing left in the yeah. president and stuff like that. Yeah, potentially. Just uh, there's like not. I don't know. I guess this is like the the way that we trade information now. Everything is like, oh, we can find everything. Yeah. Because we're going to find everything. And if we don't no, find so. everything, we're going to find someone that knows everything. Yeah. And, and then there's no a Bigfoot. subreddit. Yeah. And still no Bigfoot. <laughs> Come on, Bigfoot. We know Come on, you got Reddit. Some... Find Bigfoot. I bet you there's a pretty sweet subreddit. Oh, I'm going to fucking follow that subreddit as soon as this is over. (laughs) I've been on Reddit way too much lately. It's a fucking great tool, honestly. I feel like... um, I've learned so much. Like, yeah. That's where I learned that uh, Nicolas Cage thing. That's where how I got my computer repaired. I just went on to uh, Tech Assist or something, and I just described my issue, put pictures, and they were like, yeah, you got to plug this in and that and this and that. And then they're like, fucking idiot, don't come back here. (laughs) No, that's the thing, right? That's what you expect because it's like when you start looking like looking on t- bleh, Reddit, uh, I like I think my my initial assumption was that people were going to be like really mean, but it really mm-hmm. wasn't the case. Yeah, 
Yeah. I actually made my first post to Reddit. Ooh. Yeah. What subreddit was it in? It was uh, Scary Toilets. Okay. Explain. Because uh, <laughs> on Facebook, there's a page that I follow that's called uh, Toilets with a Threatening Aura. Okay. <laughs> um, and then I just love it just because it's like the most interesting bathrooms ever. Hmm. Um, and then we were in, when we went camping up in Death Valley, we were in Beatty. And it's like a fucking, it's like the only bar they have in town, right? And it's like a, a chili slash bar that has a bunch of PBR memorabilia. Are you everywhere. saying they serve chili? Great chili, actually. I bet. I really mean, if, great chili. If you chili. exclusively serve chili, I bet you. It's- oh, yes. And you know it was great chili because they did not offer like a vegetarian or like a chicken. Like no, like nothing. It was just like. beer and chili? Yeah, you got <laughs> beer and chili. That's uh, it. Um but you go into the bathroom. <laughs> I'll put a poster. Yeah, up. please. Uh, um, but here, um, the the urinal. <laughs> I'm going to try to describe this as best. The urinal, like man. So like the <laughs> urinals on the wall above the urinal is two very real motorcycle handlebars. Oh. Yes, above the urinal. So yeah. So like as you're at the urinal, you can hold on to it. That's actually fucking brilliant. Yeah, uh, so that's something. It sounds good. It's I would something. Back and shit. But uh, <laughs> it was like one of those things that I saw, and I was like, "Oh, this is a toilet with a threatening aura." And I snapped a picture of it, yeah, and uh, I, I put it in the subreddit. What, what's your thumbs up at? What you got? I got five on that <laughs> one. I got five. I got My five caption: on it. "Write it like you stole it." Mm. Nice, right? Yeah, a little frosty. A little frosty. <laughs> I like how you had to be like two very real motorcycle handlebars <laughs> as if i was no, gonna... <laughs> like look at like look at this it's like oh my it, god it's not awesome. it's not like it's like a fake one or like a prop like ha 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 they're like no let's cut the handlebars off this must this uh motorcycle i don't think i would want to touch it it's, i did not it's probably really dirty i did not i used the other <laughs> toilet just because i was like this is disgusting i think i would have to do it like just to to say i did it but yeah, like there's no like um, grips on the, <laughs> on the brakes. It's just there's like, no brakes on this ride. No, there's baby. like no grip. You know, like uh, like like they have. Like, oh, the because it's worn thing. down. It's worn down. <laughs> it was just metal. It was worn down. I mean, look at it. Exactly. That's how worn down it was. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, that's uh, awesome. Though I like that a lot. This is a quick a cool shout out to my bathroom. sister that watches these episodes. Mm-hmm. Every time we point up, like, hey, we're gonna put it here. Oh yeah, we she's like. Do. <laughs> where is it and we never do because it's always like yeah we'll put it right here but it's like and we don't think it's that serious she's like every time you guys point <laughs> there's never Sometimes anything I do it like as a as a gag yeah. though so but now like every time that i'm just like <laughs> ah, sh- someone de- like you deserve to see it you know like that picture like we're definitely that gonna put that good. one yeah, up that like you have sure. to or you guys all have to go to Beatty, Beatty, nevada and go to uh Oh, I was just um, trying to get you uh, votes on Reddit. Oh yeah, go thumbs up. Yeah, go thumbs up my <laughs> post on my. On You're gonna make people go to Beatty, uh, <laughs> a place I've never heard of that I'm judging now. Great chili, I'm telling you, you heard it here first. You heard it here, Beatty, first. home of the chili motorcycle toy. Oh, cool thing about this bar, I wish I would have taken a picture of it. So they have a jar, right, like a big jar, full with water mm-hmm. for drinking. No, so then <laughs> at the bottom of it, they have a shot glass. Mm right so you have to try to drop the quarter into uh, like the, the water through a slot yeah if you got it you got a free beer right that's cool yes had to be I, a quarter yes mm-hmm. did it first try nice dude literally those things around never got yeah it literally did it bounce off the jar bing, ding, right in and first try and i i literally tried it like three or four more times and just dog yeah, shit it's like mostly luck right? yeah or chance yeah it's just uh yeah. but that was the coolest thing i thought about just having one at the house just so like every so often i'll just be like bing, bing. <laughs> yeah that's no, like I'll, a way I'll just, to like I'll collect people's quarters <laughs> control like if you drink more or not <laughs> you leave it up to chance you just get like, the God beer damn, it. damn it nope sorry you get guys, three you get over. three tries before you're cut <laughs> off yeah that would suck uh-huh. but hey if the, you have a real problem you know yeah throw it out. you might as well have fun with it it's a fate-based moderator <laughs> <laughs> leave it up to god because he knows if you're an alcoholic does he bud heavy <laughs> it's a bible belt 
I'm living in a post uh, knee surgery world, and I'm like, oh, how is I'm your like, knee? Do I is it fine? I can't. I think I'm just like used to like. Thinking can you? That. Can you? Like, oh, I'm good, dude. I can I can knee this. I can kick people. Yeah, I could probably do like a like. Does a, it hurt? Like a bicycle when kick. it gets cold? No, no, no. Like literally, it never hurt. Yeah. In, in terms of like, uh, there's after just something the surgery. In because they, they didn't like change anything. They just took shit out that wasn't supposed to be there in the first place. Yeah. I showed you the picture, right, of what they took out? Oh, yeah. I yeah. showed it I mean, to it's Sarah. right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, I'm for sure. It's a little fair those. warning. Yeah, I for sure am putting those in there. Because I saw it, and I was like, I don't know what I'm looking at, but I know it's, it's weird. gross. Yeah, so if it is actually right here, essentially it's like a small chunk of bone. I think it's like one and a half centimeters, which doesn't sound that big. But, you know, it's in proportion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I'm glad it's out because, like, literally when I would, like, move my knee before, you'd hear crunching, like, every Ooh, time. Ooh, and that was probably a bone on bone, Ooh, baby. baby. That's gay sex. Bone on bone. Bone, 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 That's what you hear. Bone, 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 bone. You know, that's what you're using. Uh, all Time Low by John Bellion. Oh, I thought you were saying like the band All Time Low, something, something. No. Nah. Never Just, never was into All Time Low, really. No, even though you look like the lead singer? I don't know. Like, I probably take most of that as a compliment because <laughs> I was always like really not like into the lead singers of bands in like that kind of way. But you I was always dude. like, that's it's a good look. Fine. That guy's got some. Dude's got some sweet it's looks. A lot, it's a look I don't mind, you know? <laughs> His banks look amazing. <sighs> Huckleberry Haze, baby. That's delicious, isn't it? It's fantastic. It's Not delicious. as good as the draft. But <laughs> Yesterday, Fred, back to our Lazy Gox commercial. Ooh, Yesterday, your club. went for my, you get every month, you get a free sampler of the, the beers from the oh, thing, right? right. I thought you meant like an like a, like a appetizer sampler. Ooh. And I'd be like, oh. Yes. Uh, so That's I got that sub. for free. Then I had a, a tall of the Huckleberry Haze because I had to. I was there. Doy. A fresh keg. Like the freshest keg of this Huckleberry <laughs> Haze. Literally tasted it. Tasted the Huckleberry. Tasted the Haze. Mm -hmm. Slapped to my taste is. buds. <laughs> the Haze. It seemed. Couldn't pin it down, but it's always there. <laughs> yep. Um, and it was just so fresh. Like it was literally like. You you know when you have like a fresh keg mm -hmm. and when you have like mm -hmm. a low down keg? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Um, it was like just tapped. F R E dollar sign H. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> I, was, uh, I, don't, I don't know whose lyric that is. <laughs> F R E dollar sign H. That's all I remember. It's tied dollar signs. Yeah, it's probably just fucking Lil Uzi Vert. Ah, and we're back at the beginning. Boom! Welcome back to the uh, Hundred Achievers podcast. <laughs> Episode twenty. Don't put your feet up. People on the internet will see it forever, and they'll rank you on the on the internet. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I already did this earlier. It's a shoe, though. So yeah. invalid. The, the blue lives matter joints. I love these joints. <laughs> I love these. I actually, uh, I was recently like kind of splurging on some items because I I got uh, like a bonus check. Like oh, I was telling big you. old fatted check. I, I was going to look at, at uh, shoes though. Yeah, but but because like. When I, the ones you kept recommending to me, they're all pretty expensive. So I was like, fuck, I need some shoes. So what'd you buy? I didn't buy anything yet. No. You mean what I bought otherwise? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but are you going back for the Nikes or? <laughs> Nikes now? I thought they were uh, at the Air Jordans was the recommendation. Oh, yeah. But those are Nikes. So, but I mean. Mm. Are you going, are you going, uh, can I have one of those Oh, are yeah. you going Jordan? So you asked me. I was like, there you go. Have you found a pair that you like? I think I did save one. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, let I me see. Let me see these bad boys, <laughs> and then we'll put it up right here. I don't even know if uh, if it's on my Amazon. I might, I might not have it. Like you put it in your Amazon. You're shopping for shoes on Amazon. No, no, no. But I mean, that's usually where I search for <laughs> anything. But um, but they do have that kind of stuff on there. It's just a lot easier, you know. Amazon Prime dot com. Oh, I have Air Jordans. How do you spell John and J A H? <laughs> Dense. <laughs> Dance? Is that what you just said? Dance? I don't really feel like scrolling through like all these shoes to find them, but I will send it to you. Yeah, you didn't favorite it? 
It's probably on in a, on, a, on my desktop somewhere. <sighs> uh, this guy I just fi- wants to he stare finally at shoes. likes a pair. Of Even shoes. when I show him, he's gonna be like ugly. <laughs> nah, it's debatable. I literally. So I thought about. Uh, Why don't you send me a pair of shoes that isn't neon colored? Why? Who's but who's <laughs> buying neon colored shoes? I have one pair of <laughs> you. Definitely. I have two pairs <laughs> of neon shoes that I bought this year. No, that I've have ever. I only have the pink ones, and I have the blue and pink ones. The leopard print do not count. That's leopard print. It's a <laughs> it, print. That's, yeah. that's not neon print. Yeah, it's leopard print. <laughs> print and the N sixty fours are not neon. No, they're not. They're uglier. That hurts my feelings a lot. Okay, <laughs> it just doesn't look like an N sixty four. Put them up. <laughs> you gonna tell me this is an N sixty four? Where's the cartridge go? And With yeah. the expansion pack go that I need to play Donkey Kong 64. I never liked Donkey Kong. How? Ooh. Donkey Kong, Kong like is this. a character. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we only got six of them. Deschutes, you have other good beers, okay? Don't let this discourage you. Yeah, the white IPA, delicious. Ooh. The black IPA. <laughs> <laughs> also delicious. Arguably more. I can't buy him. <laughs> Fresh squeezed IPA. Jack was drinking this beer the other day. It's literally a sour beer that's lime flavored with lime and lemon. <laughs> I was like, please tell me that that's not as gross as it sounds. And he was proud enough. How did it taste? I didn't. I didn't have, you didn't taste I didn't have the courage. <laughs> it's all right. We okay. all take shots in life. When was the last time you took a shot? I remember mine. I remember. I had a small glass of scotch last time I was at uh, Ooh, Jack and Jay's house. A small glass of scotch. What is it in it? Because, like you know, like when you're trying to be fancy, you have to give people the smallest amount of alcohol possible, yeah. so that they can drink it at a snail's pace, so that they look cool. Yeah, but you know, if they would have gave you a lot, you would have just shot it immediately. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember when I was younger, um, my ex girlfriend at the time, her stepdad, um, like offered me scotch, and I and, and uh, he gave me the glass of it, and I think I just shot the whole thing, and I was like coughing, like straight up for. Like, it was like a, a good scotch. I mean, I assume so. <laughs> Is that if what that anyone means? tells you to try this scotch, just assume that it's expensive scotch. I think. Well, the idea is you don't you don't shoot scotch at all, right? Yeah, right. You're supposed to sip it. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I would just assume if someone's like, "Hey, you gotta try this scotch," I would imagine it's a really great scotch that costs way too yeah. much money. It seems like a weird uh, route for the Scottish to take too. <laughs> I feel like they're kind of like high energy people. To see them like slowly sipping scotch seems strange. Yeah, or maybe that's like where it came from. Was like a. Um, I'm even confusing them with the Irish too. <laughs> all the people that were like, "Oh, all we do is drink beer, and this is what we do. We're Scottish." And then they're all like, "Oh, we're not all like that, all right? <laughs> Some of us are very mild mannered. Some of us like that. Also, books. like to drink a lot of alcohol. So we'll just very make our stronger. <laughs> yeah. So it's like we're just. I'd like to have a nice guess of scotch. Some of us want to invent the decanter." <laughs> And then not use it for much. Oh man! Shout out ah, to the decanter. the decanter. I don't even know what a decanter is. It's like the glass cube that has the little thing. You pull it out and you put the scotch in, and you use it. You know, it's like in uh, most uh, like TV shows where they people oh, work in an like office the... and it's like on a tray and they're like, "Hey, would you like a drink?" And they're like, "It's ten a.m." Why is it decant? Why is it called a decanter? I don't fucking know. Oh. Well, you think I am a fucking uh, entomologist? <laughs> What's an entomologist? I'm pretty sure it's the study of bugs. But etymology, I think, is the study of words, which is what I was intending to mm. say. Well, I'm a mixologist because I'm a mix you... this of uh, mixed drinks. <laughs> Holy crap. I didn't realize there was so many ologists in this room. <laughs> Uh, ologist you think you'll ever grow up to be some sort of ologist only a rapologist mm. my- I think they call us rap geniuses now <laughs> 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 yeah fact oh I came up with a rhyme ma, today ma, ma, have you seen that, that <laughs> video with the- <laughs> oh, is that little Uzi Vert someone tell me 
There's a, there's like a <laughs> rap genius has those videos where they have the rapper and they're going through the lyrics to their songs in real like like yeah. in real time. And then um, there's this guy and he's like singing a song and it's like mop 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 <laughs> for like five minutes. And, just, and then he goes into the verse and he's like saw janitor he mop mop mop. <laughs> It's fire, dude. Click here to view it. No. <laughs> I'll share it with you later. No. Please don't. I'm not don't. making this up. Please don't. What was Uvert's new song, Mop? Mop Top. Mop Top. Drop Top. First I, first I dropped my mop. Then I forgot that I should have swept the floor first. Mop the floor. I mop, mop. Yeah. Mop. Sweep mop it. to the top. <laughs> mop to the top. I was really hoping you were about to go into the second half of that little Uzi Vert verse from before. Uh, no, I still can't remember. First, that dropped my top. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, see, it still is very lost on me. <laughs> All in the shoulders. Oh, I feel like I'm slouching. <laughs> I'm always slouching. It's an eternal issue. It's you ever remember like when you were younger and you or in high school, they would check you for scoliosis and shit? Yeah, you know... Uh, I actually think scoliosis is a uh, conspiracy. No one's ever shown, shown me a crooked spine that's not on an x-ray machine. It's facts. Yeah, I don't know. It's facts. You're telling me a gym teacher can tell me whether or not I have scoliosis. No, they usually brought in doctors. At least uh, at, at my <laughs> Dr. <school>. Phil? <laughs> <laughs> Sure, I'm gonna believe him. Doctor Phil's actually a pretty smart guy. Just... Mm-hmm. Doctor Phil can suck on these nuts. He could probably. He seems like a pretty open-minded fella. I don't know. Honestly, I have no beef against Doctor Phil. Yeah, I should though. Start beefing with TV doctors. Doctor Drew coming for you next, player. Dude, Doctor Drew is jacked as fuck. Doctor Drew, Who more like Doctor Who. <laughs> Doctor Who would whoop your ass. Coming for you, Doctor Who too. You got a screwdriver, I got hammers, G. You can call me Goopa. <laughs> Goopa? I don't know if it's like a Super Mario, you know the ones that throw the hammer. Oh, those are hammer bros. They don't have names. They're not worthy. <laughs> <laughs> They're just bros, bro. They're just, <laughs> they're just bros. Sometimes there's two. Sometimes there's three. <laughs> Sometimes. It's just one, but he's still a hammer, bro. <laughs> he's still. He is you just broke. assume he has very distant relatives. <laughs> <laughs> he's hammer cousin. <laughs> he's this spat- is the seventh Super Mario game. We're running out of yeah. the first wave of bro. They can only incestually populate so much. <laughs> in the Italy is family. ravished. <laughs> the Mushroom Kingdom has seen no Goopas in twenty years. Yeah, Goombas. Yeah. You think the Goombas and the Koopas and the... You think they all copulate in some form? Mm. No. I do not <laughs> know. I don't know if we should think about it, but hey, the porn parody will get it get it in there for us. Yeah. Oh, they will go to that. Yeah. I've, I, when I was uh, cutting that clip for the porn parody thing that we had in the last episode, I was like, man... Every time I listen to this, a little more information comes out. <laughs> it's like, oh, I watched uh, the Adams Family Porn, and I was like, oh, I've seen the Adams Family <laughs> <laughs> It just gets like, deeper and deeper. Oh, yeah, Ash fuck Pikachu. Oh, I have. Seen I've Ash seen Ash that Pikachu. video. We've all seen Ash fuck Pikachu in one way or another. Leave it in our hearts. In two ways. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Fight this Charizard real quick. <laughs> you know what's a, a new trend I heard about um, was that there's like coronavirus porn. Ooh, yeah, like uh, you're having sex with someone, but you don't want to because they have coronavirus. I don't think so. I think it's just two people are they, are wearing like, face masks usually. Hmm. That's so, weird. so the blowies are a little awkward <laughs> and dry. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I can't get any closer because I don't want to catch the coronavirus. <laughs> I can't take off my mask. I can't yeah, touch my face. Know, now I'm even more curious because I had read that that was like a thing that was trending. And then mm. I was like, what is the semantics? Or like, what is like the... Like, you want me to give you coronavirus? Yeah, because if it's that, then it's weird, right? Tell me you want me to give you coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> give me coronavirus, baby. <laughs> Fuck yeah, give me coronavirus. Yeah. 
I fucking love Give me corona. that dick and give me coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot that coronavirus all Shoot over me. Shoot that coronavirus all over me. Uh, <laughs> that's it. That's the one. Then we got kicked off YouTube faster in our life. <sighs> first little Uzi Vert. Now first, first, <laughs> first I dropped my top. Then I dropped this bucket of coronavirus semen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next episode, we're going to be reacting in real time to coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> Using the green screen. Using the green screen. It's going to be a technical out. feat. Yes. Oh, my God. This is going to be a blurred screen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 100%. <sighs> Oh man! You know what? Ever since coronavirus started becoming a thing, I actually have been using hand sanitizer a lot more, and I'm like, huh? But are you washing your hands more? Yeah, it's both. It's 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 a it's yeah. you sanitize and then you wash away the lies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've uh, I've started washing my hands more. Um, not as much on the sanitizer because I know it's not really that good for you. No. Nah. Mm-mm. It smells like shit, that's for sure. Nah, that smell, was like what I was thinking earlier. It smells like, like vodka, but it is good. It just smells like clean. And then you're like, oh, did I actually just clean my hands or did I just make them smell like clean? You know how they always said that you could drink like enough hand sanitizer to get drunk, but it also really? might kill you? Yeah, like it doesn't sound worth the yeah. science. But, that, but the fact that they say that suggests to me that they did try it. <laughs> Right, like someone, someone died. How else would they know that? I, I like to think about that when uh, I think about vodka tampons. Mm. Yeah, someone had to try that one time. There were people doing that even when I was in high school, but then it like came back, and and people were like, "Oh, vodka." So they were tampons. like, "Hey, stop putting vodka in your tampons and putting them in your vagina You're this or your butthole." Then, huh? Hmm? Calling you out, Deschutes. Can I see your? Uh, I don't have my thing. Yeah. You don't think coronavirus is a fun uh, conspiracy theory? Or theory? No, it's actually hello, hello, lame. I'll be the first person to say it. Ooh, you're the first person. Yeah. You heard it here. News here, people. Coronavirus first not person. real. Swine <laughs> oh, flu it was lame. not I, real. Am I retarded or is this thing weird? You got a. There you go. So we you have to really hook it. But yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't care. Yeah, it's a flu. Well, it's a yeah. disease. It's the swine flu. It's the bird flu. And the name's dumb. It's a dumb virus. I'm you calling know, you out, coronavirus. If you're real, come. <laughs> no, that'd be like so bad. We're oh, like, oh, coronavirus. You know what I actually? Uh, you know what I've actually been comparing this to is like uh, the coronavirus. Kind of like the happening. Mm. Yeah. So it's like. Uh, you know how everyone shits on the ending of that movie because they're like, oh, it was just the Mother Earth? That's stupid. It's a fucking great movie. But... I haven't seen it in a long time, but uh, I'll take your word for it. I feel like uh, this is just like one of those things. It's like, you know, it's it's going to happen. It's, you know, it's going to do what it's, it's going to do. Yeah. It feels weirdly timed, too. Like, I think it's almost like... I don't know, like the way that it's like kind of come out and then the political advocations behind it, you're like, that's kind of weird. <laughs> well, I feel like everything just has that sort of tie to it. That's now, true. You know? You're not wrong about that. Can't even uh, fucking can't take a piss without hearing about Trump's dick. How big do you think? Tell me when. <laughs> I would, Tell me when. Uh, Tell me. No, I'll start over. <laughs> Re- like really small, I imagine at this point. I'm going to give it, or no, I'm going to say he has a huge dick, right? But it don't work. And it's oh, just kind of, like at a time, it was in its prime. The ultimate tragedy. He had like the, the king of cocks, you know? The king of cocks. And then just like slowly and slowly. You know, it's crazy to think of, Ron Jeremy had that that title at one point. He had the king of cocks. The king of cocks? Yeah, the king of cocks. Ron Jeremy is such an unfortunate, like, he, he's like a great example of that same thing, right? Where he's like... He, kind of, he looks he looks like Super Mario if everything went south. You think he's ever done a Super Mario porn? You think he's into porn? Pants? Oh, he's definitely done a Super Mario porn. Yeah. If not, I'll pay him to. Oh, how much? How much do you think it costs the book long term? Me? Truthfully. Um, Is it good? It's not terrible. <laughs> we got to keep the shoots on the line, dude. I'm not trying to just... 
It tastes great now, right? <laughs> Freshly squeezed. <laughs> 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 Ippa. Ippa. <laughs> I'll have the double Ipa. I take a dip, please. Or perhaps a thripa? A thripa? You ever had a thripa? <laughs> triple IPA? Triple Ripa IPA? I think you just said uh, ciabatta bread. And I was like, yeah. Remember when Jack and the Boss came out with those ciabatta bread sandwiches? Yeah. Just because the marketing. That was some good marketing. Good Jay marketing on that bread. That's the best thing since sliced bread. You know, most. Fast food places have the best marketing. What do you think about it? Taco Bell gets there every time. Yeah. Every. Ah. Uh. <laughs> ah, my God. 149. I see, the, I see the commercial and I'm like, oh, that looks disgusting. Sarah's like, yeah. oh, I want to go to Taco Bell now. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, why? Uh, I always want Taco Bell. It's like ingrained in my soul. No. Taco Bell doesn't do it for me. No, yeah. it's probably because, you know, you've had better, I'm sure. Like, even uh, what's that place we went to, Ta- Taco y Taco? Oh, that yeah. place was fantastic. And Fuego. <laughs> Dude, be- and Fuego. Shout out! Taco y Taco! <laughs> Taco y Taco is amazing. Yeah. Um, it's nice. Yeah, like Taco Bell. Or, I mean, Del Taco. But, but okay, so Taco Bell, everyone at least has, like, their favorite experimental Taco Bell creation, whatever. Mm-hmm. I mean, all their food's experimental in my eyes. It's all Mexican-American, man. Yeah. Uh, Where they clash. No, the like the only time I'd really ate uh, Taco Bell was when... Um, it was like in high school where they had that, like, you could choose like a burrito. It was like the five-layer burrito. You get like uh, the drink and like a bag of Doritos. Mm-hmm. Do you remember that? Yeah. That was like the only... still had Baja Blast back then. I never like Bob. I don't like soda. Dude, like that. Yeah, I don't like Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew is not good to me. Yeah, Mountain Dew's not good to anybody. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, that was the only thing I recall eating from Taco Bell, and it's like it's still uh, my favorite. The beefy five layer. No, thanks. shout out. Oh, you know what? Oh, um, and I would replace the beef with beans. That's what it was. Because uh, I was vegetarian at the time. Ah, uh, yeah. how did that go? I was. I did it for a couple often. years. Yeah, I did. What it was your couple. root uh, like reasoning for doing it? health or uh i'm pretty sure i've told you this story um this is actually a pretty weird story it's a term i'm looking for i'm sure you have yeah um but the baby goat you remember the baby uh, goat? yes the one that we talked about on this on the episode with cc and uh evan right yeah yeah yeah. right yeah yeah so yeah and i had to carry it yeah yeah, that was the same thing. That's what made me go vegetarian, and I was like that wow. um, for a couple of years. And that was also what you said changed everything, right? Was that goat? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like as so far as like, you the think fortune. it was the goat or going vegetarian? Ooh, Ooh. I never thought about that. Ooh. Um, if you don't know what we're talking about, go back and listen to episode with uh, Hella Anxious. Yeah, the heck of Hella Anxious episode. Hecka. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that was a fun episode. But yeah, that was the me- reason I went uh, vegetarian. Yeah, I, I mean that seems completely understandable. Yeah. So, no, it's yeah. Not. But what was the thing that changed it for you? Why well, I, I stopped? Yeah. I love meat. Yeah. Not meat. I don't, I I don't think. I, um. <laughs> I like food. I just like I enjoy yeah. food. And I think this was when I was like kind of uh, like my early twenties, mm. where I was like really becoming my own person. You know. And I thought it was just so like, not childish, but it was like, I, I want, if I wanted to eat something, I wanted, I would eat something, yeah. you know, not because like, oh, well, you know, I'm just not eating meat. Yeah. It wasn't that, like, it just wasn't a good reason anymore. And it was just like, okay, if yeah. I want to eat something, I want to eat something. I feel like at a, at a young age too, like a lot of people really want to make up their mind. Yeah. It's They're like, just like, I'm going to do this. To, yeah. Like you, you don't fucking know. So like people get married, they get, you know, yeah. date their high school sweetheart forever. It's just like. That's always you, sh- you have no fucking clue what your life is going to be like in three years, let alone ten. It's it's great when the high school sweetheart thing works out, mm-hmm. but I feel like whenever it's like, uh, oh hey, they, it doesn't work out. It's always for the same reason. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like it's always just like, oh yeah, well, like you know, we just kind of got tired of each other or, or well, whatever. For it a lot is. of people, it's their first relationship. Yeah, too. exactly, and it's the only person they've been with, and it's yeah. just kind of like. And that's like oh, a you strong can, attachment in a lot of yeah. cases. So. I mean, no no offense to it, but it's just kind of no, like, no. It, it was like, 
you guys like are totally understandable for for doing that. Not that mm-hmm. it needs like a our confirmation, but it's yeah. just like, oh, like yeah, dude. Like if you want to get divorced because you feel that way, like fuck yeah, do it. Like yeah. you're still young, you know. You did that yeah. shit when you were young. Like live that life. Some people are into people who used to be married. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> oh, you're well, only twenty four, like, right? Yeah, I used to be married. Our generation oh. is, it's like a completely different. Like, I mean, if you yeah. honestly just look at someone and be like, oh, yeah, well, I used to be married. And then you're like, mm, don't want to deal with that. And you're like, what's well, like. Yeah, that's like people who aren't yeah. really adapting. Like, I think yeah. there's a lot of uh, old beliefs yeah. that I think we can like, <laughs> like yeah. slowly die out if yeah. we start to acknowledge that like, they're a little stupid. Yeah, it's just like, what the fuck? Like, what are you, what's, what's the judgment on? Like, yeah. They lived a whole ass life before you. Like, <laughs> Yeah. They're good now. You just don't know, man. That's yeah, all. it's strange. Strange. I mean, uh, I think I ate vegan food for maybe like a week straight once. Mm-hmm. I always wish, uh, same thing. Like, I always think about going vegan just to kind of like be healthy and like. I mean, there's ways to be healthy yeah. without being vegan, yeah. but. But but I think this goes to like, a, sure. just like environmentally conscious and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but then it goes back to like. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but I just want to be able to eat whenever I want to eat, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah if I, just, I see a dope-ass brisket, I want to eat that brisket, yeah. you know? And especially not, like the I brisket's not barbecue. hurting you, yeah. right? Yeah. If you found out you were allergic to brisket, you'd probably stop eating brisket. Mm. <laughs> that'd be the most unfortunate. That'd be a shitty, that'd be very the most specific unfortunate day, allergy, but... Yeah, they're like, red meats can't have happen. them. That's always my biggest fear is that they're like, hey, um, you can't have red meat anymore. I'd just be like really like yeah not that i love red meat but it's just like i can't it would suck a little bit you know i can't have carne asada ever again (laughs) like or i'll fucking almost die like i'm that's scary (laughs) oh but you can have carne salad (laughs) yeah you can have pollo asada i'm like that's not the same bitch yeah don't lie to me it's okay it's like soy riso and troy riso and it's like "Mm mm-mm Chorizo never gets uh, the rep it deserves, I feel like. Because sausage is, like, awesome. Yeah, people fucking love bacon, love sausage. And people are like, chorizo? What is that? <laughs> Pig's stomach? That's Ew. so disgusting. I can't even say it. It sounds like an anime. <laughs> I'll have a chili hot dog, please. Hell yeah. I don't know why I keep going back to this Valley Girl. It's she easy. Doesn't, she doesn't fun. deserve this bad rap. Yeah, she does. Um, my name's Laura. <laughs> My name's Laura. I love chili cheese dogs and Bud Monsters. You just made me think of something. I but, just um, got out of my first marriage. <laughs> at uh, 24. We have three kids together. I mean, we had three kids together. He killed he them all. He got two. <laughs> and then he tried to kill me, and then he fucking shot himself in the face because he's a fucking psychopath. <laughs> I hope I never uh, see him again. I hope I <laughs> never see him again. <laughs> Um, uh, but what that voice but is anyway, making me I'm think a Virgo. Of. Uh, what sign are you? Oh my god! I just do not like Libras. It's insane how much what you're doing right now is exactly. What <sighs> I feel, I was like, about I feel to like, say. like I feel like I lost energy. You know, just like doing I, that. I lost light. Oh. Like you know, like the the, the like the you lose a life. Like <gasps> maybe that's like uh, the people that like channel other people's dead spirits, yeah. and they do that thing. Yeah, then I'm like, thank you for sending my message, and then you're like. <gasps> What did she say to you? Who was that? <laughs> Where am I? How long was I gone? They're like, who's, oh, spirit who, mediums. Who's uh, who's Laura? Oh, mediums. I'm hearing. I'm hearing. Uh, Corolla. Chili, out of chili, chili cheese. Toyota da, Corolla. Toyota, <laughs> Toyota Corolla. Does anyone here drive a Toyota Corolla? Oh my god. I drive a Toyota Corolla. It's like, yeah, bitch. Mara. We all do. <laughs> we There's all 17 do. Toyota Corollas parked back there. <laughs> Only two of them had the same rims. Only two. Only and two. that's impressive. That's impressive. That's impressive numbers for the Toyota yeah. Corolla. Anyway, the Valley Girl voice. <sighs> yeah, it's so What it made me think of was another reality show that I watched. Remember I told you about The Circle? The Cir- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Netflix, yeah. So another Netflix reality show, and this one I don't like. Here we are. I've watched about it. forty minutes of it, and I couldn't stand it. Mm-hmm. But it's uh, Love Is Blind. Oh, I've heard about this. So it's like it's like uh, do they, people like this? Do other people like this? Or I've do heard you? good things about it, but I watched it and I was like, this is stupid. Uh-huh. But this uh, is a blind date thing. Yeah, yeah. kind of. It's not the show Blind Date because that one is beautifully crafted. 
Have you seen the show Blind Date on Netflix? Mm, it's no. like essentially like one person having four dates at, at the same time, but it's just in the way that it's cut. Oh. It's fucking awesome. Well, okay, no, go back to uh, Love is Love is Blind, Blind, though. Yeah, okay, so Love is Blind, the, the, it's, they keep calling it an experiment. Sure, because they keep the two people in different rooms, and they can speak through like a glass. Like a thing. two-way glass? Yeah, but they can't see each other. And the experiment is like, oh, glass. it's not about physical appearance. Uh, it's, it's not about, about their attitude. It's not about race or physical appearance. It's yada, yada, yada. And then um, it's definitely every dude race on race the race show race. looks like a fucking Hemsworth. <laughs> Do they? Uh, <laughs> like 100%. So I'm they like, were like, you're and good, all the you're girls dressing. are beautiful. It's like, it's like, what the fuck? Like, you're completely missing the point. Yeah, I want to see like a really like fat chick <laughs> fall in love with like a jacked guy and see if the guy yeah. is actually is. That's the that's the experiment you're trying to yeah. accomplish. I think the one that this one probably accomplishes at some point, but I didn't really get far enough. Is like maybe uh, the guy fall because there's like a, a good mix of race in there, and I feel like some people in there might not be as cool with that, but. It wasn't worth getting to that point. Yeah. And that's my uh, reality, Netflix reality TV review show <sighs> of the first 40 minutes of Love is Blind on that's, Netflix. That concludes that <laughs> segment of uh, Just Them Facts. Yep. Our, I just our new of, Netflix reality Netflix, TV next season, segment. I want to see some fatties, okay? I want to see some fatty <laughs> baddies. I want to see some way too skinny boys, too. I, I want to see... You ever heard of Lil, Lil Long Neck? Daddy Long Neck? I want to see that guy on that show. He's crazy looking, but he's got a personality of gold. Word? Word. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Is, is this one of your new rappers that you like, like little, like little schmoozy it's, merch? It's like a, it's like a your mom's house celebrity. You know what your mom's house is? Yeah. It's, yeah. So it's essentially, <laughs> it's not We're a celebrity. We're going to put a picture it's right here. Daddy long neck. Follow. <laughs> Sorry, Cassie. <laughs> Ahead of time. At least one no, of these things will not be here. It's not Cassie. On purpose. I'm going to start wearing my hat like this. Mm. Lazy Dog Beer Club. You got not, now I'm saying. Now I'm saying. Now I'm saying. I don't. <laughs> no one knows what you are saying. Most of the time when people say that, I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> I was like... Uh, Hiding my eyebrows from the world. Mm. Yeah, so you can't see my facial expressions on the one. Yeah. Can you tell that my eyebrows are excited? Can you tell that I'm infuriated? Face, <laughs> my face is solemn. It's, yeah, you did kind of look sadder because I can't. Yeah. yeah. My eyebrows, excited. Look, excited. look in the mirror and give uh, the speech from uh, V for Vendetta. It's not what your people... <laughs> could do for your people but it's fear themselves uh one fish two fish red fish blue fish wow this is mm-hmm. gripping mm-hmm. uh oh i should have said red fish blue fish lives matter ah <laughs> blue well, fish lives do matter don't let him discourage we'll cut that, that out <laughs> edit that all together don't i'm gonna look like a out. fucking instead genius. put it to a beat <laughs> 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 blue fish lives matter I don't even care if it's a drive by or car splatter <laughs> ain't no oyster shit it ain't no platter three rhymes with the same sound I don't think that's music crafting logic what do I know? Who am I? Logic? <laughs> hop, hop out the, the submarine with the harpoon gun and they all scatter. Ooh. Oh. We're still doing platter here. Or, uh, platter scatter. Matter. Matter. Matter scatter rhymes with matter. Usually you do uh, one and then. It's a longer line, all right? <laughs> it's a longer line. All it's right, a lot I need of to so interrupt your fucking Hop process. out the, su- the submarine with the harpoon, y'all scatter. Yeah, we're just gonna put we're gonna just, <laughs> a year end of all of our freestyles. <laughs> yeah, they're all gonna be terrible, but maybe progressively better. Mm. You know, even Dan Harmon awesome. learned. You know, <laughs> after time, time after ended time. his podcast in the process. But all right, what do you think? What do you think? Jeez. We got an hour. <laughs> Fuck.
I didn't have any final thoughts. I hit on my notes. Coronavirus, are we all dying? Oh, yeah. I got a little side experiment for you. You ready for this one? Yeah. You ready for this little thunker? Oh, we got to do that uh, water and cereal thing, too. Oh, that'd be fun. Point. We'll do that on the podcast. I don't think it'll be better, but... <laughs> so I mean, say. This isn't really like an unpopular opinion, but this is uh, something I was thinking about. Mm-hmm. When you pee, right? Do you pee directly into the bowl or do you pee on the side of the bowl? And let it kind of like make its way on its journey, guide it down its path, mm, so to speak. I think in the bowl, it's just directly. You're just like full volume. <laughs> yeah, if you're not, I feel like guy. it. Like if not, like if you hit the bowl, it like scatters. Like it has side. the potential. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Try to be as like not messy as possible. Yeah, that's fair. <sighs> Maybe mine stems from my uh, toilet shyness. Mm. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, so, like, when you're at a party, do you think about like, like, not your parties, but someone else's party? Do you actively think about having to use the restroom? Not usually, because if I'm at a party, I'm drinking. I don't really give a shit after oh, all. Okay. If gotcha. That's kind of like the gotcha. the cure. But when I'm at work, right? If I if I you was don't... straight up at work, sometimes I'll walk into the bathroom, see that people are in the stall already. Only one of the two. Yeah. Just wash my hands and leave. <laughs> I'll just hold it in. Wow. Um, on dates, do you not use the restroom? I mean, when's the last time I went on a date? <laughs> Approximately a year ago. Uh, yeah, probably. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, like the I'm early really stages a, of the of like the. Okay. No, it wouldn't bother me to, to do it because no. it's not like they're following me. <laughs> they can't come in legally. Mm. Uh, you know how like people just like sometimes don't like to eat in front of people or. Yeah, you know? that's dumb. I, I mean, I'm pretty like. I'm not trying to like paint the wrong image, <laughs> you know. <laughs> hey, um, I want to, you know, do stuff with you, but I don't want to. I don't want to eat don't my. Uh, Should know my that I have a penis and use it to whiz. Wizard, as young Anakin would say, that's so wizard. <laughs> he says that in that film. Does Look he? it up. That's so wizard. Yeah, pot. Now this is pod racing. He says that too. He does. I love that. <laughs> Now this is pod racing. It really was pod racing, though. It was. We pod. were all there. We saw it. That was prime pod racing. That was great pod so racing. Sabalba, you stupid bitch. You blew it. You only- fucking blew it. <laughs> you fuck it. He's a big Sabalba fan. I really don't mean to upset anybody who thought that he would. If you say if you say Sabalba's a cheater. <laughs> How dare you speak such fucking words about Dude. my main man, S to the A to the L to the He's B to the O to the B to the A to the dollar sign Sabalba. He's on camera <laughs> detaching Anakin's on cam- what? Coil. Whose camera? George Lucas's camera? Yeah. Uh, you don't talk to me about no George Lucas and try to tell me about no facts. All right. This man done said that Darth Palpatine was actually just a clone, a failed clone of the clone. And I thought we already had the attack of the clones, and now we're done with the clones, and it was a revenge of the Sith, but now we're back to the clones. We were never done with the clones, I can tell you that uh, much. The clones. See, Jango Fett is the best character in Star Wars. Still disagree with that. Clones. One. He's the clone. He's the clone of the clone. What He's the pa- clone, 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 clone. Was a clone? Uh, have you not seen that stupid thing going on? Oh, spoilers. Uh, Palpatine's a clone. Um, no, I don't know. Uh, there's like... Uh, I've seen these movies. They're like... St- I haven't even read, so this might be ill-informed. But <laughs> just because it sounds so fucking stupid, I don't really care. Yeah. They're saying that like... Uh, which I could imagine like the website that like this is from is like a... Oh, well, fucking co-creator and writer confirms that like... Palpatine was a clone, uh, or the the Palpatine in Rise of Skywalker was a clone. I think that's true. Yeah, I mean, to some degree, um, there's no other way he would have still been alive if he wasn't a clone. But he's like an imperfect clone. But then it's just like, eh, just fucking keep him alive. Like, you really think going the route of you expect hey, us to believe that man could fall a thousand feet <laughs> after being zapped to death, and it's fucking yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, Darth Wars. Maul was cut in half, and you were like, well, motherfucker's got spider legs now. Well, he he's had, alive. Yeah, he had people help him do that. Oh, and Palpatine, the Sith leader, did not have a single soul that was like... You're right. You know, hey, you're um, right. You're right. <laughs> you heard from Palpatine? You know, our lord? Actually, you know, I've heard people and, screaming over that ledge Yeah, for a while. we should go fucking find him. Looks like him. the comes, like, Cloud City is right above. 
We lost fucking Ow. Anakin Ow. Sky. Oh. What? what? <laughs> I was pretending to be like <laughs> Palpatine dying after falling. You're like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> they drop Luke's lightsaber all the way down, right from Cloud City. Maz just fucking has it. Yeah. To be explained yeah, in the future. Palpatine's a fucking <laughs> clone. Don't blame the table. It's just a table, man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Hey, who was going to argue the logic of space wizards? You know? You. <laughs> Are you an angel? Are you a space wizard? That's so space wizard. <laughs> All right. Final thoughts about uh, Phantom Menace and uh, young Anakin. Bull cut? Uh, too much? Bull cut was too much, yeah. yeah. I don't think the single braid was any better. What happened to that kid? Oh, he got in trouble for uh, <coughs> crushing a car. Woo! Because everyone made the joke, now that's pod racing. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, right. Oh, I mean, is he okay? I don't fucking... I don't. God damn it. If, you got, if you're the, the kid who played Anakin in Phantom Menace, let us know. Are you okay? okay. <laughs> um, what are your thoughts on Sebulba? Um, yeah, do you guys still beef or what? He, y'all still beefing in these streets? You ever go back to Tatooine? What's your mom like? She's she doing all right? She's doing all right. Mm. Shmi. <laughs> what was her name? Shmi, Shmi. Shmi. Some shit like that. Hey, it's me, Shmi. <laughs> All right. You All know, right. I'm going <laughs> to, on this next, the next episode, I'm going to get it to where I can just hit a button and then the closing credits play. And it'll be just so amazing. And I won't have to edit a single thing. What <laughs> credits are you? What kind of credits it's a, are it's a, it's a logo. Like, uh, yeah. I can show you how to set that up right yeah, after this. No, I know cake. how. I just haven't done it. Well, okay. It sounds sounds a like a piece of cake. I didn't say cock. I want you to know that. Piece of cock. <laughs> it's not me. A piece of cock. Well, thank you for playing my game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Beatles>. oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Did we get that beetle, uh, beetle from uh, Wind Waker? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's like he's falling down a pit. <laughs> Just to tank to tank. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank anyway, you. Play Zelda games. Beat Mario 64 if you don't get the previous two references and the one before that is Zelda. Stop fucking them Goopa Troopas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Free my homie. Check Hammer out, bro. Check out my young guy. Top by Lil Uzi Vert. Find out what those are. First I drop my top. Uh, then I... Deschutes, uh, fresh squeezed IPA. Not that bad, honestly. Squeeze it fresher. His maybe wasn't as fresh. But you know what he was saying earlier? New kegger. <laughs> Sometimes it happens. Uh, what else? Did we recommend anything? Coronavirus, don't get it. Wash your hands. Don't get it. Um, Stop buying so much toilet paper. Don't clone uh, Sith Lords. Um, Django Fett represent. You can clone Django Fett. He's, he's cool. Big dog. He's the only... You know, I'm out here in the streets. I hear repping well. Street Team Django yeah. J Four and ready to g- 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 go. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to cut him off. All right, let's close it. All up. right, thank you guys for what he was talking about. It takes two. Here it is. Look at it. Oh my god, they're rolling right now. It's, the, it's right. It's who's that? It's guy? right there. Oh my god, him. It's right there. <laughs>